Hey there, Bixby developers. My name is John the Pan, technical evangelist for Bixby. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to make simple API calls within your Bixby capsule. For this capsule, we'll be utilizing the Dad Jokes API. What is the leading cause of dry skin? Towels. And every time that you ask it for a joke. Have you heard the rumor going around about butter? Never mind, I shouldn't spread it. It will make an API call to grab a hilarious dad joke for you. So where do I make API calls in Bixby? There are two places. The first one is in the JavaScript, and the second one is in the endpoints. I'll be showing you both of these approaches. So starting off, this will be the capsule that I'll be using. No one understands me when I say I like to paint peas in a cage. I don't know what is so hard about it. I'm a trapped peas artist. And the thing about this right now is that it will tell us this joke every single time. No one understands me when I say. And we're going to start off with a simple hard coded joke and then switch this out for the API call. So here are the steps for making an API call in the JavaScript. And we'll be going through each of these steps. So in this git request.js file, we want to replace this hard coded joke with an HTTP call. So first we want to import the HTTP library with var HTTP equals require HTTP. Before we move on, let's take a look at the documentation for the API that we're using. Since we're using this API, I can has dadjoke.com. To get a joke, all we have to do is make a git request to this URL. So let's go ahead and add this URL as a variable. Next, let's take a look at the Bixby developers documentation to see how to use the HTTP library. Search up HTTP and click on the first link. Here you will see the built-in methods. And we're gonna to want to use the HTTP.get URL. And you'll see that it takes two parameters, the URL and the options. So instead of returning this hard-coded response, we're gonna to want to replace the response with a get request which is http.geturl and then url. Now the second parameter, options, is optional. One thing to know about Bixby's HTTP library is that it is blocking. So you don't need to use async await in order to run code after that. This line, return response, will only happen after the HTTP library finishes uh, its get request. So now let's go ahead and run this and see what happens. You'll see that it returns something blank, and this is perfect because I can show you how to debug your HTTP calls. Click on the debugger, and then click on actions, plus, the plus and functions, this plus right here for the get request, and then click on this plus here, and then click on this. So now we can see the get request and what happened behind the scenes. See that the method is the get is a get. The URL is here. No body, no parameters. And if we scroll down, we can see that the API call returned a 200 in the status. So we know that it's successful. But it also returned an HTML file. And that's not what we want. Taking a look at the dad joke documentation, we'll see that we have to add an accept header. And the reason for that is because text slash HTML is the default response format. But in order for us to use it in Bixby, we're gonna to want to use the application slash JSON or even the text slash plain if we wanted to. But for this example, let's use the application JSON. In order to add headers into your API call, we're gonna to want to use the optional parameter options. And here we can add a headers key. And on the left is the left side of the header. And on the right is what that header will be equivalent to. So now we can pass in this options as the optional second parameter for our http.geturl function. Now let's go ahead and run that and see what happens. Still nothing, why is that? Here we can see that we're getting a value compilation error. If we look at this API call, 
we'll see that here it says response body parsed. So what does that mean? That means that this type that's being returned here, while it is in a sense JSON, this is actually in string format right now. So there's two ways that we can address this. We can use a json.parse right here, or if we take a look at the documentation for the HTTP request, we can actually pass in a, a format key into the options. And if we pass in format JSON, then Bixby will parse the JSON that's returned from the API and return a JavaScript object. So we're not going to use the json.parse. Instead, we'll try the options parameter. Why did the barber win the race? He took a shortcut. And there we go. So we've successfully used the HTTP library in the JavaScript to make an API call. So the next thing I want to show you guys real quick is how to make an API call in the endpoints file instead of the JavaScript side. The benefits to this is that there's no need to make a JavaScript file. It automatically sends a viv context as a query. Some other quirks about it is that this needs an application slash JSON to be returned. And finally, the get requests models output should match the response that gets sent back to us from the API. Let's take a look at what all that means. Let's convert this over to a remote endpoint. So I'm going to comment that out. And then we're going to do get request remote endpoint. And here, let's put in our URL and specify the method, which is a get request. Let's run this real quick. Writing with a broken pencil is pointless. And it works. So why is it working so seamlessly? It's because this response model matches the response from the API call itself. Looking at the documentation real quick, we can see that this dad joke API returns an ID, a joke, and a status. And lo and behold, our response object also has an ID, status, and joke. Now it goes without saying that all that's being read back to the user is the response.joke. Just like with the JavaScript version of this API call, you can simply click on the debugger and then click on all this stuff to take a look at the API call. And one thing you'll notice is that vivcontext was added as a parameter by default to the URL. Another thing you'll notice is that the header accept application slash JSON was automatically added to the remote endpoint API call, even though it was not automatically added to the JavaScript HTTP call. And lastly, the remote endpoint API calls will automatically parse the body for you. Unlike in the HTTP library call, we had to specify it to be parsed as JSON in the options parameter. Let's go ahead and listen to a couple more jokes. How was the snow globe feeling after the storm? A little shaken. Yeah. I wear a stethoscope so that in a medical emergency, I can teach people a valuable lesson about assumptions. So there you go. That's how you make some simple Git requests within Bixby Studio. Now, I recommend taking a look at the documentation for other types of requests, like a post request, put, and delete. And also, Bixby is able to go through the OAuth flow as well, which is also in the documentation. Thank you for watching, and yeah, that's it.